So here we are in ProPresenter. First thing you need to do is you need to add a stage screen. So I'm going to go to Screens and then Configure Screens right up here. And when I do that, you'll notice that I have a place for audience screens. These are for the people that are watching, participating from their seats, but not leading from the front. And then the stage screen, which is for, as I say, the leaders. So I've got two of these. I'm actually using this one uh, in part for this guy right here. Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use the stage screen. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you don't know what a stage screen is or you don't know how to do what you want to do on it, go ahead, leave me a comment below, share this with your friends, and go ahead, subscribe, see if uh, you don't like some of the other tutorials that I've got in coming weeks. The stage screen, which could very easily have been called the leader screen because it's the screen for the people that are leading from the front, is massively powerful in ProPresenter. In earlier versions like Pro 6 and earlier, it was powerful but limited compared to what it can do now. Now it can do just so much. I'm not going to go into some of the more advanced stuff. I've already got tutorials on that. But I thought that I would talk about just the basics of the stage screen because I could have sworn I did this tutorial already, but I am not finding it. So maybe I didn't, or if I did, it probably needed to be updated anyway. Either way, let's head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter. First thing you need to do is you need to add a stage screen. So I'm going to go to Screens and then Configure Screens right up here. And when I do that, you'll notice that I have a place for audience screens. These are for the people that are watching, participating from their seats, but not leading from the front. And then the stage screen, which is for, as I say, the leaders. So I've got two of these. I'm actually using this one uh, in part for this guy right here. But this is the one that we're going to deal with. Now, normally you're not going to use a placeholder screen for it. So you would, the way you would do this is you would click the little plus button near here, and you would probably use one of the first three choices. Either one of the built-in displays right here. So in this case, this is the one that's built into my computer because it's a laptop. This is the one that you're actually looking at right now. And this is probably the one that I would use if I was using my computer for this. You can also use any of the Blackmagic hardware. In this case, I've got a Decklink Duo 2 that I have connected. You could also add one more display to a device if you've got a Thunderbolt port that's not used with a, an Ultra Studio. My mouth didn't want to work there. An Ultra Studio 3G uh, monitor adapter, which those are about $100. So you could do that as well. This last one is NDI, and that would be useful to send the output of ProPresenter over the network. And you could receive that with another computer or with some hardware, like there's a company called BirdDog that makes a receiver box that you could use uh, to send NDI to. So it's probably going to be either NDI, some Blackmagic hardware, or one of these system ports, you know, it's probably an HDMI cable right now. Might be a Thunderbolt to HDMI, but ultimately it's HDMI. So probably one of those three. Most people, probably if you're curious which you're going to use, it's going to be one of these probably. So that's the first thing. As I say, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm using a placeholder screen, but that doesn't leave ProPresenter, so it's not going to be as helpful for most people. So there we go. We've got that. Now 
we need to format the information the way that we want to see it. So if I go to screens and then halfway down, I've got this word stage. It's grayed out. That's because you can't click on it. It's just kind of a heading for the following information. Since I've got two stage screens, it's got two entries here. I could have up to eight, but most people aren't going to use more than two or three. So you could do that and you can switch between these layouts. How did I get those layouts? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. I'm going to go into edit layouts right here. So do that and this brings up an editor right here. So in this editor, I can move stuff around and do anything you might expect. But first off, let me click next to the word layouts. There's a little plus button, not this big one, the little one. So click on that and we've got all kinds of presets. So a blank one that starts with a blank, sla blank slate. Sorry, my mouth doesn't want to work today, I guess. Um, current and next text current text and notes, current and next previews, etc. So we've got a lot of options here that we could do within ProPresenter. Let me just make a blank one just to show you some of this stuff. Now, the first thing that I always tell people to do is right click on it and select rename. So I'm just going to call this test layout so that I remember to delete it later because I'm just going to put all kinds of stuff into it. The current and next slide is pro, so this is a preset exactly as it is in ProPresenter. This is what most people would want, but one thing you should know is if you don't want pieces, you can just click on that and hit the backspace button on a Windows keyboard or the delete button that's where a backspace button should be on a Mac keyboard and that'll go away and you can um, go through here and you can resize or drag stuff around no big deal there and even the label underneath here can be moved do you like these videos but you'd really like to learn from me in person well I've got some great news for you I am traveling around the country and maybe even around the world training churches on how to use ProPresenter. So I've got a uh, either a one or a one and a half day class that you can attend. For more details, head on over to tdm.fyi slash events24, the top one right here, and uh, register for the event nearest you. If there is no event that's near you, no problem, you can request one. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash uh, class request that's this one down here and um, you can say hey I'm interested in attending a class or even I'm interested in hosting a class up to you which you prefer in the last one that is just information it's not obligation so don't hesitate to put your information in there and uh, I'll let you know when there's a class in your area, or we'll talk about what it takes to host a class. It's probably a lot less than you uh, imagine that it is. So head over there, and uh, I look forward to meeting you in person. So you do have that as a possibility. So going back here to our test layout that's a blank slate, nothing on it whatsoever. How do you add stuff to it? Well. You click here on this plus button, the big plus button, and that will give you everything that you can add. So you can uh, add the current slide text, a preview image, the notes, or if you've got multi-tracks songs, you can do the current text plus chords. Same thing for the next slide. Um, those are your only two options, by the way, the current slide and the next slide. There's no like slide after next or anything like that. Screen preview, you can add in a preview for any of the screens. So I've done that down here. I've got one for the live stream and one further on down here that is for the regular audience display. So 
if I wanted to switch to that to show what's on screens that are normally for the congregation, the people participating from out in what we would call the audience, um, then that's what I can do there. So that's what screen preview does. Chord chart, this is not multi-tracks chords. This is a PDF chord that you can add in with the song. This is kind of the older way to do it, and it, I didn't think that it was as helpful. You'd really need to reformat a PDF if you wanted to use it for that. Stage message, if you want to send a message to whoever's leading from the front, that's actually very helpful. Planning Center Live, you can have a countdown from the Planning Center Live integration if you have Planning Center. Um, we've got timers here where you can pick any of the timers. These are just three that I have created. System clock, video countdown, audio countdown, etc. So we've got a lot here. One thing that isn't immediately obvious is if I go to shape here, let's just choose a rectangle. I can make this whatever size I want it to be. And notice that I do have some blinking over here. Don't fret about that because normally you would set up your stage screen before everything started. So just keep it in mind if you're using the stage screen where people can see it, then there might be some blinking. So all that to say, <clears throat> we've got this. Now look over here where it says fill. Instead of color, we do have a drop down for other ideas. We could also do a video input. In the class that I did the this past weekend, someone was saying, hey, how can I preview a camera that's coming into ProPresenter before I actually show it up on screen? Well, I could put camera one in here and I could switch over to this stage screen and uh, look at it right there on the preview and then show it to the, um, to the congregation if that's what I wanted to do. So I do have that as an option as well. So that's how I can add different things. I can. There's no reason why this couldn't be full screen, too, by the way, if I wanted to. Just drag it up. I can also type in the correct position. The first pixel up here is the 0, 0 pixel, and so that's why it says 0, 0. And then this is the resolution, aspect ratio, etc. So watch as I drag this down. And once it fills, it should be 1920 by 1080, and it is. So I have that as an option. I can change the opacity. I've just basically anything that I can do on a slide, I can do here in the stage screen. So going back here into show mode, you might be curious, how do we switch between those layouts? Well, the most obvious way is right here. This is actually, I used to think this was an upside down T on top of a right side up T. It's actually a little person at a podium or a lectern. So you can go there, hide myself real quick, and there's a drop down. So for this actual stage screen, I could choose my live stream uh, preview if I wanted to, or the current and next text, etc. So I can't. I can do that live, but I can also, if I go back to a song, I could right click on any slide in a song and add an action. So if we go down here to actions, notice there's one called stage, and that gives me drop downs for each of my stage screens. So since this is the only one I want to deal with, I could tell it to go to the current and next text. And so if I go down to preview it, it was already on that basically, but that would switch automatically. So I might have a current and next text for the worship time. I might have a secondary stage screen that has the multi-tracks chord charts on it. 
then when we get up to the announcement time, I might have another layout. I might have another layout for a scripture reading, another layout for liturgy if my church does that. I might have another layout for um, the sermon time, etc. So I could automatically have those changed when you click on the first slide. So in this case, I've got several things going on here, but one of those could have been this instead. So I can do all of that here automatically when you click on any particular slide. So that is all of the power that we have inside of ProPresenter using the stage screen. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro quick. Give me your name and email address and I'll make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. Thank <laughs> you.